Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, physical therapist. So I got a little bit of resistance when I showed the last video of an individual working on knee flexion, laying on their stomach. I know it's a tough position. I don't expect everybody to do that. Most of my patients can't even lay on their stomach because of spinal stenosis and other problems related to low back pain. I'm just showing you guys variety so you can see what else is out there. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you another, um, what we call prone knee flexion position. So again, laying on your stomach, but this time using a strap instead of the wall. So basically what this is, this is a non-stretch strap. Certainly most people will use a dog leash. That's probably the most common. What you would do is you would place it over the toe, so the loop that you normally hold goes over the toe. You're gonna position on your bed, on your stomach. Now from this position, I can grab the strap, and as I pull, obviously, hopefully you guys can see my knee is bending. Now let's say I get to what's available in terms of range of motion. What I can do here is I can hold that strap nice and tight to my body, I can push my leg against the strap, so I'm resisting the bend. I hold that for five to seven seconds, and then I relax and try to pull a little bit further. Then I push and resist five to seven seconds. I relax and try to pull a little further. It's just another way to work on knee flexion, but by far, my favorite way is always gonna be either sitting or laying on your back. So let me show you laying on your back. I'll use the same strap. I usually loop it over the foot twice so that I can kind of control where the, the strap stays on my arch. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it on the other foot so you guys can see a little better. Okay, so I'm on my back, laying in bed, laying on the couch, laying wherever. I open up my loops, I've got this here. What I'm doing is, as long as I'm pulling down and back toward me, I can get a little bit of increased flexion on that. Now let's say this is about all the available range I have. I'll hold this position five to 10 seconds, and then I'll relax, and I'll pull into a hamstring stretch five to 10 seconds. And then I'll bend the knee, Come back in, pull a little higher, five to 10 seconds, relax, come back into a hamstring stretch for five to 10 seconds. And I'll continue to repeat this until I feel like the knee is getting a little bit sore, aggravated. That's when I'll stop, I'll go take a break, two, three hours will pass, and then I might come back and try this position again. One variation on this, if you have one of these smaller balls, I like the smaller balls personally, use whatever you have at the house. What I would do is I would rest my heel on the ball. I would use the strap to help pull in toward my chest and then I can relax back into extension. So as I'm pulling, I'm holding this position five to 10 seconds. Feel discomfort but not pain. If you feel pain, your muscles are gonna naturally resist this position. So you always have to be able to distinguish the difference between discomfort versus pain. One variation on this is if it's a soft enough ball, I'll have my clients use their hamstring muscle, muscle behind the leg, to try and drive the heel down into the ball. What's interesting to note is this bone on top, my shin bone, actually has to drop down behind the femur as I'm bending. So I'm, I'm, when I'm working on flexion, if I tighten my hamstring with the flexion, it's actually mobilizing the knee joint, just like your therapist would do if the therapist was doing what we would call a posterior glide. So tight through the hamstring, I push down on the ball, I use my straps to assist almost like a knee to chest. This is a great position for somebody who has some low back issues, spinal stenosis. Usually this is a very comfortable position. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, if you'd like other tips, any other kind of information, let me know. 
please take a minute and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then I'll post a, a link from Amazon to show you where you can get a strap like this. But like I said, at home, most of the time, a simple dog leash will work. Guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much. For